welcome to dynamic study so today we are dealing with strategic analysis so before getting into the topic what is strategic analysis what do you mean by a strategy so in the first class itself i have given you a brief idea about what what do you mean by strategy so strategy is a method or a plan which is adopted by the organization with an intention to achieve their long term objectives so every organization will have their own objectives which is meant to be achieved yes so strategy is basically it it means that it is a method or a plan which is constructed by an organization for what purpose is strategy is being constructed it is constructed mainly for the purpose of achieving their long term objectives or their desired objectives okay so for that purpose a strategy is framed by an organization so that we can say that a strategy is a method or a plan which helps an organization to achieve their long term objectives okay so strategy we can say that uh, strategy is a game plan of management and the strategy is prepared by the top level management a strategic decision is one of the crucial decision that has to be made in an organization so such decision is mainly prepared by the top level management that is the corporate level managers okay so the top level management managers mainly prepare the strategic decisions so this is a brief picture about what is strategy now let's get into what is strategic analysis now what is strategic analysis strategic analysis is a process of researching an organization's business environment within which it operates okay so now what is an analysis analysis means what it means conducting that means it means undertaking a detailed examination okay so that is what we mean by analysis so strategic analysis means a strategic ex a detailed examination okay so a strategic analysis is a process of researching researching means what we are finding for something okay we are finding for facts we are finding for informations so that is research so on what basis we are conducting the research so strategic analysis is a process of researching an organization's business environment okay so strategic analysis means it means researching or conducting a deep detailed examination of an organization's business environment within which it operates so a strategic analysis is essential to formulate strategic planning for decision making and smooth working of that organization so strategic planning is very essential in an organization in order to make any decision okay in order to make a decision and also for the smooth working of an organization now there are certain common factors in the process of strategic analysis now the first one is the identifying and evaluating data relevant to the company strategy okay so this is the first common factor that is company strategy every organization or every company has their own strategy so strategy is a method or a plan which is framed by an organization to achieve their long term objectives okay so the first common factor in the process of strategic analysis is identifying and evaluating data evaluating what is evaluating and identified the data that is relevant to the company strategy okay i hope you understood that sentence then comes defining the internal and external environment which is meant to be analyzed okay so every organization in before getting into any deeper stages uh, it is every organization should analyze their environment so environment itself there are two types of environment is there one is internal and the next is the external environment so both this en environment internal environment as well as the external environment has given equal priority and both this environment has to be analyzed okay so this analysis will be made by following methods that is porter's five forces analysis swot analysis then comes value chain analysis these three analysis is mainly used in order to identify um, the internal and external environment everything every analysis is ma is mainly made by taking into consideration these three analysis that is the porter's five forces five forces analysis swot analysis and value chain analysis all this analysis we will learn in the coming classes okay now this is the basic picture of strategic analysis that is the process of strategic analysis basically there are four process of strategic analysis that is the current strategy then comes the access 
current strategy and environment then comes the strategic alternative evaluation uh, once the strategic alternative evaluation is made then the last one is your recommendation okay now let's move on to the first process the first process is perform an environmental analysis of current strategies here we can see that there is external environment and internal environment yes so this two environment um, this two external environment uh, is been performed so perform of uh, perform an environment analysis means what performing of an internal and external environment of current strategy so internal and external environment both this environment is performed on the basis of the current strategies okay now what does that point mean so starting from the beginning a company needs to complete an environmental analysis of its current strategy okay so before getting into anything the first step or in the beginning of beginning a company has to uh, analyze the environment of the company okay of an, an organization's environment has to be analyzed on the basis of what on the basis of their current strategy okay so internal and external environment are analyzed on the basis of current strategy okay so internal environment what do you mean by internal environment internal environment considers um, consideration it mainly includes issues such as operation inefficiencies employee morale then comes the constraints from financial issues all these comprises internal environment then what what about the external environment the external environment includes the political that is, that is external to the organization okay internal environment are those which is which is within to the organization whereas external environment are those that is external outside to the organization so political trends economic shifts changes in consumer taste all these are external to the organization so the external environment mainly focus on it mainly includes political trends economic shifts and changes in the consumer taste so this is about the first process that is to perform an environmental analysis of current strategies then comes the next process that is determine the effectiveness of existing strategies once you are done with performing an in environmental analysis of current strategies the next process is determining the effectiveness of existing strategies that means to access okay that means to access the current strategy and environment okay why we are doing that so that we can understand whether the strategy is failing or succeeding if it is failing then we have to switch the strategy that is we have to go to the alternative strategies if it is succeeding in organization then the organization will will focus on that particular strategy itself okay so we need to understand the effectiveness of the existing strategies so for that purpose we need to access the current strategies and while doing this it will, it will also helps the organization to understand will the current strategy meet the stated goals of an organization that means uh, every goal has is meant to be achieved so will the current strategy will help the organization to attain to achieve their desired goals or not if it doesn't then they need to change the strategy if if it helps the organization to achieve that goal then they are taking a good step okay then next question arises does our strategy align with our vision mission or values okay it means that apart from goals every organization has vision mission and values all these plays very important in an organization so a strategy um, uh, while understanding the effectiveness of a current strategy it also helps us to understand whether this current strategy is aligned according to the vision mission or values of an organization okay so that for that purpose we mainly determine the effectiveness of the existing strategies so this is the second process of the strategic analysis now the next process is the formulate plans once we are done with the first process perform an environmental analysis of current strategies then the next process is determine the effectiveness of the existing strategies that means the current strategies after after this process the third one is to formulate plans okay now here this is one of the important step because lot of questions are framed in this steps and the answer for all these questions are negative that is if the questions answer is like a no response okay a no response or unsure response then we have to undergo various planning stages okay we have to take various steps if it is a no and if it if, if the answer for the question is negative okay so we undergo a planning stage 
where the company proposes strategic alternatives it means that if the current strategy is not performing well then the planning has to be made in order to switch to the alternative strategies which will help the organization to achieve their uh, organization goals so strategist may propose ways to keep cost low and operations leaner okay so the potential strategic alternatives include change in capital structure changes in supply chain management or any other alternative to business process so under this the main uh, idea of this point is that if you understand lot of questions will be arise in this stage and if the answer for all this question is negative okay so then we need to undergo various planning stages to switch on to the alternative strategy which will help the organization to attain their goal so this is the main uh, point that explaining in this uh, in this point okay i hope you understood then the last process is the recommend and implement the most viable strategy okay here lastly after accessing strategies and proposing alternatives that is once all the strategies are accessed and all the proposal regarding the alternatives are made we reach the recommendation okay after all this three process uh, in the conclusion that is we are concluding we uh, finally we reach to the recommendation stage after accessing all possible strategic alternatives we choose to implement the most viable and quantitatively profitable strategy so after getting through all the process then in the last stage we will choose the best strategy okay from from the alternatives we will choose the most viable and the best strategy that would bring success to the organization that would make profitable to the organization okay so such a strategy will be recommended in the final stage so after producing a recommendation we uh we repeat the entire process okay so once we produce a recommendation then the entire process is being repeated so strategies must be implemented accessed and reaccessed okay so every strategies that first it has to be implemented then it has to be accessed then it has to be reaccessed okay then only we can come to a recommendation so they must be changed because business environment are not static so according to this business environment the strategy has to be changed because business environment keeps on changing because they are dynamic in nature so according to the business environment this strategy has to be set so this is about the process of strategic analysis so i hope you are clear about this topic and if you have any doubts regarding this section please don't hesitate to comment in the below section thank you